Glorious Jubilations, Halo fans, and welcome back to Halo Canon. Today we have some new lore to look over, so let's dive right in. About a week and a half ago, the second issue of Halo Initiation released and Halo fans ripped it off the shelf. The second issue is a vast improvement over the first issue, but sadly, not without problems. The issue starts off by showing us, for the first time, exactly what sort of augmentations Spartan 4s get. These augmentations combine invasive procedures and chemical injections, much like the original Spartan 2 augmentations. Whether these augmentations have any side effects or drawbacks is unknown, but it seems that some are a vast improvement over previous Spartan enhancements. Along with classics like enhanced muscle, nearly unbreakable bones, and enhanced night vision, Spartan 4s also have their lung signed with a polymer that allows them to process toxins. They also have their entire pancreas replaced with an artificial organ. What it does is thus far unknown. Now, as exciting as it is to finally get some details regarding the Spartan 4 augmentation procedures, I would still like to see some quantifiable data allowing fans to compare the 4s with previous classes. Hopefully, someday. Moving on, the comic ends with Insurrectionists hijacking the Infinity and new Spartan 4s picking their armor from the apparently limited selection. This is where we really get into the issues of the, uh... The issue. Given the security procedures detailed in Glasslands, it seems unlikely that Insurrectionists would be able to get Infinity's plans off the ship, let alone sneak back on board. For those who don't know, security for Infinity was ensured by permanently stationing workers on board for several years and keeping a total communications blackout in effect. It seems highly unlikely that Insurrectionists would be able to steal the plans and board Infinity given these security protocols, unless there's a traitor on Infinity. Hopefully Issue 3 will clear up these problems. On a, perhaps, brighter side of things, Monday saw the release of the Halo 4 Central Visual Guide. I know myself and plenty of other Halo fans have been waiting for this, and boy does this book deliver. Each entry holds a plethora of information ranging from why the Sanghelia Jackals look so different, to the real names of the Didact and the Librarian, and so much more. Spoilers. Sanghelia armor looks so different because most of Jules Sanghili forces are from Hasturos. The Jackals look so different because they are from, or descended from, the continent of Ibiesh on Ian. Kigar from this isolated continent retain their species' reptilian heritage more prominently. The Didact's name is Shadow of a Sundered Star, and the Librarian's is First Light Weave's Living Song. This is easily the best visual guide to date, with details concerning the various war games, maps, Spartan Ops locations, armor permutations, weapon details, and so much more, this is a must-have for Halo fans. Obviously, I have some minor complaints, but overall the book gets a solid 10 out of 10. Pick it up if you haven't already. Well, that's pretty much it for Halo news for now. The Forerunner video is almost done, and will be up sometime next week. This has been Halo Cannon. Peace out.